and welcome back to Friday Reviews and I have quite a few films to talk about today and lots of them are really exciting so I can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys as always I'll just run through which ones I'll be talking about today and as of last time I filmed Friday Reviews I actually put a little timestamp thing in the description and hopefully in the comments section as well so you can have a look and if you only want to hear about one or two of the films you can click the little time and skip to that part somebody actually mentioned this to me um, in quite a few Friday reviews as it goes so I took their um, thing on board and I looked into how to do that well it wasn't actually too hard and I figured it out anyway and so that's what I'll be doing now so you can check that out anyway so the films I'll be talking about in the order that I watched them we have Moonlight which was the only June release that I've got in this batch and then Fist Fight which starts off our July films Hidden Figures and finally Beauty and the Beast the 2017 live action film so those are the four films I'll be talking about today and if you have any thoughts on them as well you can let me know in the comments below I'd love to know what you thought of any of these films so let's get started talking about Moonlight so prior to watching Moonlight I'd heard a lot about it and a lot of hype around it because of course Moonlight won the best picture at the Oscars this year and I just kind of a lot of places where you look for Moonlight was that everybody was talking about Moonlight, everyone was raving about Moonlight and I wanted to go in not knowing too much about it to be honest I knew a little bit of the premise and so I kind of went into it a little bit blind and I am glad that I did and I did really enjoy this film I thought it was a very well done film it looked fantastic the acting was incredible it, it was a brilliant film i definitely can see why it won best picture whereas sometimes some years i'm like hmm i don't know if i like that one i'm not sure about that one best picture this one i can see why why it did i think it was um i well i don't think i've watched how many of the best pictures have i watched i'm not entirely sure but either way it for me felt like a well deserved best picture However, I, I feel like I really enjoyed this film. I gave it four stars and I feel like people are going to be annoyed about that. I feel like it's not going to be a good enough rating for Moonlight. But I think the thing is with me is, I don't know, I don't have a reason. I, I really thought it was a good film. I, again, I thought it was very well acted. I thought the storyline was interesting. And yeah, but I just didn't think it was the best film ever. I don't know, I feel like the problem is I went in with it with, maybe too high expectations actually you know a film that i feel like could have won best picture for me personally was lion i don't know if it was nominated i don't think that it was i really really don't remember what they were for this year but lion for me was a complete five star blew my mind like hacksaw ridge those kind of things and moonlight i thought was very very good i thought it was very well filmed um very well acted i thought it was great the progression of the character chiron Chiron, is that how you say his name? It's been a while. Chiron, yeah, it says on the back here. That's what must have yeah, it says. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed the film. I don't know if it's one, I would watch this again for sure. I don't know if it's one I'd watch again soon, but I would watch it again. And I really liked how it concluded. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I thought it was a very good film, but it didn't, it didn't completely blow me away. I thought that was what I was expecting because of the I guess pedestal it had been put on. I know quite a few people say actually that I speak to that they wait for hype to die down for films before watching it so they don't have this kind of pre thing for the films and yeah I just I don't know I just thought maybe that was but either way I think had it not have been super hyped up I would have thought it was a very good film I would have given it four stars and I would have you know that would have been that would have been that but I feel like because everyone loves it so much I feel like it seems like a low rating however you know typically you know you give a movie four stars and you talk about it and you say you enjoy it and you like it and you know that's, that's a good thing but yeah I did like it I definitely love to know people's thoughts on this one in the comments below I mean there might be things that I missed and when I watch it a second time it might go up in my ratings but I do think I knew that I thought about it I let I put four was my rating and I thought well I knew I wasn't going to be doing a Friday reviews for a little bit so I thought I can think about it I can think on it and sometimes movies grow um, in the ratings after I watch them because sometimes after I watch them if they keep on my mind or I keep thinking about them or I'm just dying to watch them again I you know things might change however I feel like it didn't stick with me as much as I actually thought it would I thought once I finished it this movie would kind of stick with me and while it's still there and I remember it I don't think it's particularly stood out as much as some other films that I've watched this year so yeah I really did enjoy Moonlight but I was worried that people would be like what? You rated this four, but hey, everybody has 
different races but you know this film got a lot of five stars from many many places so you can go check out other reviews like seriously on the back here it's got one two three four eight five stars on the front it's just it is a brilliant film obviously you can see it's very critically acclaimed publicly everyone loved it i really did enjoy it josh really enjoyed it too and i wasn't sure if he was going to enjoy it over his type of film we both thoroughly enjoyed the film and yeah so that's moonlight okay this is where the problem comes in moonlight was a film of I don't know how to say it. it was just a film it was like a very well filmed perfectly done film you know brilliant high-end film the next film is not that at all in terms of films it's just eh. and I gave it the same rating now the thing is I think I want to make a video about this actually in terms of how we rate films or how I rate films not we everyone rates films differently I guess um, and it is to do with I feel like I rate more on enjoyment than film. I watched a film recently that I thought was incredibly well made but I didn't I didn't connect with it too well, I didn't enjoy it too well, it just didn't feel for me so I thought how am I going to rate this film because the film should deserve high rating, it's very well done the film itself but did I love it? So how do I personally rate it? Either way I did actually enjoy Moonlight but this one I feel like rates in a different pool, like Moonlight's in with films of, I don't know, it's just it's a different pool. This is in a comedy pool, a films of comedy. We have Fist Fight. In the comedy pool of how I enjoyed this and how well it came across as a comedy, I gave it four stars. I thought it was funny, I enjoyed it, got quite a few kicks from it and we watched this the day before I went on holiday. And then throughout the holiday, me and Josh were quoting this film to each other and we were like, oh yeah, it was a good film. And it was just funny, it was fun. It is a silly comedy and it definitely goes within that pool of silly comedies but I had a fun time with it, I'd definitely watch it again and it was just, it was funny, it was kind of different, I quite liked the setting of the school, I laughed out loud, loud quite a few times and yeah I just had a fun time with it. Obviously this is about these two teachers who one challenges the other to a fist fight and it's kind of silly. I think the premise itself didn't draw me in but I watched a bit of the trailer and then I kind of really thought it was funny. And so I was like, yeah, okay, I could do with this type of film. Every now and then I really need a just a comedy that's silly and fun, but not too silly. I feel like when they take it too far on silly, I don't enjoy it as much. This one had the right balance and I enjoyed it. Had a fun time with it, laughed. I liked this guy. What's his name? Charlie Day? Is that this guy? Obviously, I know he's not Ice Cube, Ice Cube's here. So maybe he must be Charlie Day because the other two... Yeah, so Charlie Day, I really liked him. What else is he in? Do I know something that he's in? I thought he was really good. He made me laugh. I enjoyed it. I liked the school setting. I liked that it was about these two teachers. And yeah, it was just a fun, easygoing comedy film. The in comedy area, I gave it four stars. Okay, the next film was fantastic, completely amazing. Definitely one of my favourites of the year. Hidden Figures. This film I thought was just amazing in every way in terms of enjoyment, in terms of how it was filmed, in terms of the story, which is obviously based on a true story, but the way they put the story together, I just everything about this was just perfect. I gave it five stars. I loved it. Sometimes, I guess, well, for me, actually, I love based on true story films, but sometimes I suppose they can be a little bit, a little bit slow moving and maybe not as engaging. This one was so gripping, engaging and awesome. I just loved it. I loved the three women. I loved that it was about NASA and I loved kind of all the, I guess, technical side they looked on things. I just, I just loved this film. I thought it was brilliant. I de definitely recommend it. Again, I'm sure you've all heard of Hidden Figures. It was a very popular film. I feel like it was quite hyped up, but I didn't really kind of hear masses about it. So I was like, yeah, yeah. People really like Hidden Figures, I've heard good things about it, I knew, you know, the premise about it, went into it, loved it, completely blown away, definitely will be re-watching this one soon, and I feel like, again, with these type of films, they're not ones that I re-watch over and over, but I feel like this one I will, and I feel like I'll be recommending this one to everybody that I can, and yeah, I just thought it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it, thought it was a very important film, just, yes, definitely just check out this film. If you check out any of the films from this pile of films, these four films, definitely check out Hidden Figures. If you haven't seen it yet, I think you're definitely missing out and should check it out and give it a go. I personally loved it, but again, that's just me. But yeah, I just thought it was great. The, the performances were brilliant. Like I say, the way they put the plot together, just 
everything was just, ah, I just loved it. Really, really, really did. So yeah, hidden figures. And the next one we have is Beauty and the Beast, the live action 2017. I feel like this flip cover is always too shiny. Let me just, is that better? I feel like it's gonna be still glare. It's very glary uh, film. Okay, so Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney animated classic. Absolute favorite. I love it. Belle is my favorite Disney princess and I just, I've always loved Beauty and the Beast. So this was something that I was a little bit nervous about. However, I love Emma Watson. I think she's fantastic. I really, really love her. I think she's great. And of course, I mainly love her from being Hermione in Harry Potter. I just thought she was the best person ever to be Hermione. And then also in real life, she's awesome. Like when you watch interviews with her and hear things that she has to say, I think she's a really awesome woman. And I've loved some of her other films too, like Perks Being a Wallflower, and there's been others so yes she is fantastic so I thought yes I have hope for this film it's going to be great but again I was still a little bit nervous I really liked how visually appealing this film was like the town and the castle and everything just looked beautiful it was like a fairy tale Disney movie come to real life that's how this film was and obviously that's how it's supposed to be and I just thought they really nailed that on the head I also thought that Emma Watson's singing was really good because obviously uh, we hadn't heard her sing before or anything else, I don't believe, and so I didn't know how that was going to be. I thought she was really good and I really liked that. I really liked the, you know, the classic songs in this live action version. I thought they were done well and I've been having them in my head since watching it, which is what you want when you watch Beauty and the Beast. I'm glad they didn't kind of, because obviously with Jungle Book they didn't make it as musical, they just added a little bit here or there. And I'm glad they didn't do that with this. I'm glad they went full out musical, all the all the songs, you know. I think that this was funny. I think it had a lot of humour and I wasn't expecting that at all. And I laughed out loud a few times and I thought it was really, really funny and clever. I really liked the Beast. I thought that he was very comical and I liked his humour. At first I was like, hmm, he doesn't quite seem like the Beast that I know. And then I really warmed to him and I really, really, really liked the Beast. I thought that Gaston was much better looking than in the animated film, which sounds stupid, but I feel like I always, Gaston I felt was always supposed to be quite good looking because every other girl liked him, bar Belle, you know, and I never thought that he was, I always thought he looked kind of weird when I was growing up, but Gaston in this, I, I preferred Gaston, and also he didn't come off as, I don't know, there's something about him that I just definitely liked Gaston better in this film than in the other one, because he always kind of annoyed me in the other one, and I loved, oh my gosh, what's his name, Le Fou? Oh, his name is something confusing. Lafu. Gaston's little friend. You guys will know who I mean. I thought he was fantastic. The guy who played him was perfect. I was like, oh my gosh, I just loved it. He absolutely was the character to 100% and I thought he was brilliant. I also loved Belle's father. I thought he was brilliant. The cast was, was great. I, I liked every, every one of them. I feel like the kind of objects like Lumiere and Cogsworth when they weren't in human form were kind of hard to warm up to because obviously with it being live action they needed them to look more realistic and I found that a little bit difficult because I don't know there's something that I just like the wardrobe I didn't like how the wardrobe looked the other things I feel like Lumiere Cogsworth you know I, I did like them Mrs Potts and Chip again they look more realistic but I liked them but the wardrobe I just mm, wasn't sure on but you know that's a tiny minimal thing that I didn't like how the wardrobe looked visually but I thought that it was just a very good film it, like I say it kind of felt like re-watching a film which is a good thing because it is just basically a live action remake of an animated film and it looked fairy tale esque and everything that you would want in Beauty and the Beast I gave it five stars I really really did love it I definitely will be watching this one over and over I, what are the other live action movies? We've got Cinderella, Jungle Book, this, and Maleficent, but that's kind of a bit off. It's not a copy, I suppose. I don't know, I appreciate, I guess this has to be my favourite because it's my favourite story. Oh, one other thing, the library? I, mm, I, I was a little bit disappointed with the library scene, to be honest. The library scene in the original is my absolute favourite scene. I love it. I love how the library looks in the original. It looks different in this one and I don't know it wasn't as wow I wasn't as amazed every time I watch Beauty and the Beast the animated one I'm always like oh, the library and as a child like it was completely oh, whoa this library like I loved it this one didn't give me that hit of oh, awe I suppose when they went in the library and I don't know what that was and 
that's that's probably the only thing. I'm not bothered about how the wardrobe looks. Maybe we could just fine with that. But I wish the library scene would have just hit me with more awe and surprise and beauty and yeah, that's what I wanted. That's the only thing. But again, still give it five stars. It's fine. That was just one tiny little thing with a film that I was so I guess anticipating and so waiting to see. I feel like I, I was really looking for every I, oh you know how I, I watched it with more concentration to see if it would be everything that I wanted it to be and it pretty much was like I say it's just a few odd tiny details but I'd love to know your thoughts on Beauty and the Beast I know pretty much everybody has seen this and if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend it even if you're not a big fan of the live action remakes I just thought it was so sweet and so magical and everything like that. I feel like if I hadn't seen Beauty and the Beast the animated film, I don't know what I'd think of this. I think it's kind of odd and I'd love to sit down with someone who hasn't seen Beauty and the Beast and watch this with them just to see what they think. It would be really interesting. But yeah, overall, really, really loved it. I loved Belle as a character in this. I thought she was fantastic. I've always loved Belle though, but yes, yeah, Emma Watson did a fantastic job as Belle and I just really enjoyed it. I can't wait to watch all the special features on this as well. So yes, that was Beauty and the Beast, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and those are the ones that I watched in the past couple of weeks. It's been a while, I need to catch up, but there we go. Let me know your thoughts on these down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Thumbs up if you enjoy Friday reviews, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, or if you are a newbie, I'll see you then. Goodbye!